So y'all know it's New Music Friday, man. I said I was going to talk about the Lotto album. Lotto dropped an album called Sugar Honey Ice Tea. Now, the first track on that album, to me, remind me once again of Drake. So it's obvious that Lotto has been spending a lot of time with Drake or a lot of Drake writers. Some of the songs I was skipping through, she has features with Megan Thee Stallion. But overall, this album was 10 times better than the Ice Spice album. That's a good thing. Um, I'm not a big Lotto fan. I think I enjoyed more auto tune Lotto than I do like her rapping. I feel like when she like start rapping and she talk about things that I could care less about. There's a song on her album where she's telling basically her man that she want him, she want to see him shoot somebody for her for her, and I'm like, mm. I just I feel like that's sending the wrong message to women across America. But she did that. Overall, man, it's a solid album. I like the fact that she actually chose to rap on some of the songs. Like, some of the songs actually remind me of Drake's. Like, a little bit too much. You could tell she's inspired by Drake and what he had done. Like, you could tell she's a Drake fan. Like, if you listen to her album and you're a Drake fan as a dude, you're going to like you're gonna like some of the stuff that she's doing because it is in the, the vein of, like, you would think, like, yo, Drake, you should do this, but Drake hasn't went there. But she did, so you gotta salute it. The other album I heard this week was the Benny the Butcher album, man. Shout out to Benny the Butcher. Shout out to Griselda. Benny the Butcher dropped the album called Summertime Butch. Now, I have never really been a Benny the Butcher fan. I always felt like it was a little bit too lyrical, miracle. But J. Cole did a show like a few months back in Benny the Butcher. That was the same show that that was the same show that J. Cole decided to bow out of the battle with, right? But I watched Benny the Butcher perform and I noticed during that whole performance that Benny the Butcher was one of the best performers I've ever seen in my life. He didn't have a he didn't have like the, the track playing in the background. He was literally just rapping the whole time. The stage presence was A1. I'm like, dang, this dude was killing it. He looked like a pro. You know what I'm saying? Like so from there, he gave my respect, and I'm like, yo, Benny the Butcher is a top-tier artist. So when he dropped this album, I'm like, let me pop this in. Normally, I don't listen to it, but I popped it in, and it's actually one of the best rap albums of the year. Probably the best rap album I've heard this year. Benny the Butcher did it. That's a fact, bro. Benny the Butcher dropped the best album so far. Of 2024, man. Shout out to Benny the Butcher, man. I salute you, man. Like, rap, hip-hop, we all needed this. And you definitely delivered something that wasn't so commercially driven. Now, one thing I would say, word of advice to Benny the Butcher. If Benny the Butcher ever, ever figure out how to make a chorus, all you rappers are in trouble. I promise y'all. Y'all not going to survive if Benny the Butcher figure out how to make a full song, chorus, or a hook, or something like that. Game over for all of y'all. Benny, figure that out. You're going to dominate. I promise you.